jewel in the middle of the desert, a life that sprouts out of nowhere, some green in the midst of a brown. This is Kalacha Irrigation Scheme. Located in Kalacha location of Masabit County, just a few kilometers from the infamous Chabi Desert, Kalacha Irrigation Scheme stands not just as a beacon of hope for the locals, but also as a model of success. This scheme is called Kalacha location. Na sisi wale watu wanaishi kwa hii sehemu tunategemea kawaida mivugo. Na kawaida mara kwa mara mvua inaweza inaweza kosa kunyesha. Na mvua ikikosa kunyesha sisi tunategemea hii shamba letu. The scheme was started in 1984 with an area of 20 acres where farmers used to grow fruits, vegetables, sweet potatoes and sugarcane. Due to drought and wild animals, the farmers decided to change to pasture production. Nilikuwa ndeleni napanda hata chakula. Sukuma, spinach, ah na babai na watamelo. Sasa ile kitu kingine nyani ndio nanisumbua sasa nitaransumbua sisi wote watu wa shamba. Usiku mchana sisi unachunga. Usiku tena anaingia anakula. Sasa hiyo chakula lilishindwa nikawacha sababu hiyo nyani. Kitu sasa sisi ziko nayo ni nyasi. Kitu tu gombe na mbusi ndio anakulanga nyasi na hiyo lusina. Saa hii sasa iko tu na hii. Since then and over the years farmers in the scheme faced several challenges with the main one being dilapidated canals and pipelines. Kulikuwa na changamoto mingi maji ni shida maji hakuna pipes hakuna canal maji inatembea ndani ya matope inapotea potea ardhi yenyewe ni kidogo maji ile inaingia shamba ni kidogo shida ikawa mingi tunaendelea hivyo from those challenges we were able to talk with the community and their leaders and we identified Kalasha irrigation scheme as an area where we can do intervention through this program of DRSRP. Through the support of the national government the scheme was earmarked for rehabilitation and expansion at a cost of 76 million 389,282 Kenya shillings. The work was carried out through the drought resilience and sustainable livelihoods program DRSLP DRSLP is a 5 year project co-financed by the African Development Bank AFDB through a loan and the government of Kenya and is coordinated by the Ministry of Agriculture Livestock Fisheries and Cooperatives Over the last drought which was 2018 drought there was a lot of harvest that was done in that in that far in that scheme and uh, it's attributed to the, the effort of DRSLP program for having fenced and uh, adequately supplying water Kalacha used to be a very cut off place because it's just on the edge of uh, Chalbi desert all during drought period livestock migrate there is uh, poor access to milk so this time round over the last drought it was actually the center where I was supplying milk because all the dairy camels were kept around there you could see the anim people are harvesting uh, for their camel uh, for their camels dairy camels and others are even buying so it was a twofold of uh, uh, kind of benefit to the community around there for those people who had their small plots they were able to harvest and feed their own animals for those who did not have they were able to purchase so it provided a lot of opportunity The Lacha irrigation scheme covers an area of 200 acres benefiting 315 farmers directly. The scheme supplies water by use of lined canals and the pipeline system and is hinged on pasture production. We 
we sat down with the community and we agreed what we need to do. So we agreed that uh, the water source, which is an Atesian well that was uh, constructed sometimes in 1984, we rehabilitated that, uh, that uh, source so that we can limit the entrance of uh, wild animals, animals, and even people who used to bathe inside so that we can have clean water. Also, the canals, uh, most of them were broken down and uh, there were few. So we decided that we can repair the canals and even extend them to cover more farmers. Then uh, now that uh, we decided now to expand our farm from 20 acres to 200 acres. So the far, far off farms, we extended the pipeline, pipeline system. Also, we extended the number of farmers and even the water draw systems. We came up with the pipes that they can use to, to irrigate their farms. And uh, one of the challenges, especially in uh, this pastoralist community, is the fencing. If you want to do something like farming, you have to fence the area because of the animals. So we did uh, fencing of the 200 acres with the concrete, concrete posts with the chain ring, and also from the request of the farmers, they requested for a razor wire so that we can uh, strain the, the baboons, which were very problematic. And also we have put up a, a big store, which can accommodate around uh, 20,000 hay bales, where the farmers can store the, the hay for them to sell. Mwaka elfu moja mia elfu mbili na kumi na nane pamoja na kumi na tisa wakati kazi ilikuwa naendelea tukapata tukauza nyasi elfu moja mia tisa zingine ambaye munaziona hapa sasa ziko kwa store hii ni kama karibu elfu moja na mia moja Pale nyumbani pia hii store, sasa kuna nyasi mingi sana ambayo hii kondani ya mashamba, bado zinaendelea kutolewa na hizo atujui approximately ni kiasi gani, lakini ni kama hii nyumba maratatu ine, na zingine zimepelekwa ima nyumbani huko town, zingine wengine wanaata uza uza huko na wengine wanalisha mifugo, hiyo nae ni karibu elfu mbili na nyasi imekua wakua wingi. Ilikuwa mpeleni? Shamba tu kidogo na patanga maji. Sasa shamba mingi sasa ikona maji. Camels, cows, donkeys, goats and sheep also trek hundreds of kilometers to quench their thirst at this scheme. On any given day, Hundreds of livestock can be seen visiting the watering canals near the source. The scheme has an irrigation water users association that comprises 23 members drawn from all over Kalacha. To support the scheme management, there are four subcommittees that address various issues. These subcommittees include production and marketing, conflict resolution, environment and Operation and Maintenance Subcommittees. We decided to take them for an exposure tour in Akuru and Baringo so that they can be able to know or to have a feel of uh, the other world, what they are doing. And this, uh, this tour was very successful. They opened them up. So when they came back, they decided now to form a cooperative society. Hapo mbele ni zamani tulikuwa katika social services. Tulikuwa na so certificate ya social services. Lakini kwa vile sasa tumepanuka na tume tumeongeza ngufu, tunataka kuwa Kalacha Irrigation Cooperative Society. Na tayari we are in the process kupata kupata permit ya warma pia ili maji yetu tuitunze 
kufanyia irrigation na pia hata kwa utumizi, matumizi mengine yawe yanakubalika Farmers in the irrigation scheme have also elected a 15 member committee to be in charge of water scheduling in the scheme Within this scheme of ours we have got a source where we get the water the main source then if we, we come in, into the, the scheme itself, we have got two ways of, uh, of distributing uh, water. Whereby we have got canal, then we have got the uh, piping system. For the case of canal, uh, we have got, uh, we call it upper canal and the lower canal during the time of uh, distributing the, the water for the farmers. Then, in this uh, lower canal, we have got uh, almost uh, 36 members at the upper canal. Then at the lower canal, we have got also 36 members. Now, when we distribute the water, there are, uh, for the farmers, there are some people who are at the day and there are some who are to water their farm during the night. While the harvesting of pasture is still ongoing, the farmers have already managed to harvest 1,900 bills of hay valued at 950,000 Kenyan shillings. We have done a lot of capacity building and we are still going to do more. We feel that we are proud of this uh, community because they are doing very well. And one of the reasons why they are doing so good is because uh, this is something that they have been doing since 1984. So what the program has done is now to just to boost them so that they can do even much better. Yes, I have a lot of money. I have a lot Ulima. Mimi hata kifika usiku saa kumi unaweza kukuta mimi iko kati ya jilali huko kwa chamba. Huwezi kosa mimi. Sabu, maji mtu anakunyanga na usiku. Despite its success Farmers in this scheme still face a few challenges. These include poor market linkages for hay marketing and lack of appropriate pasture harvesting tools and equipment. With the support of Masabit County Government through the Projects County Office, measures are being put in place to address these challenges. We want to address the issue of market by really connecting not many people know that this Kalacha irrigation scheme exists, that not many people again know that this scheme is producing a lot of fodder and uh, it is producing naturally like this time. It has been a, uh, a rainy since November. So there is enough, more than enough uh, even in the surrounding, but within the scheme there is a lot. And uh, to really build support for, for the committees or for the, for the people managing, then it is beneficial if these people get market for these supplies because we are it's imminent uh, that uh, droughts will again come and during such time where do we get supplies from sasa si watu imepata faida mingi sasa ingine ilikuwa samani hiyo hiyo nyasi nyasi mimi na kaa hapa mchana na shinda usiku mtu anakuja anaiba na zioni sasa kila watu wengi sasa amepata hakuna mtu hata anakujanga kuiba nyasi sasa ya kwa fadali Na tukiendelea hatuta nafikiri usoni mbeleni huko mbele tukiangalia hatutaweza kukaa pamoja kukaa kwa nyasi peke yake hatutafuga nyasi peke yake tutaendelea utavuta mbinu ya kupanda chakula chakula aina yoyote ambayo inaweza kuwa katika hii sehemu joto tunatarajia sisi kama wakulima tumesema tutapanda chakula ambaye angalau itatutosheleza sisi wakaji wakalacha Na ikizidi, inaweza kuwa ni ya kuuza. Indeed, 
the journey towards reclamation of Kalacha is well on course thanks to Drought Resilience and Sustainable Livelihoods Program, DRSLP. And nothing, not even the sands of the Chalbi Desert, can stop it.